closed-loop communication. In resuscitation scenarios, closed-loop communication is crucial. When team leaders issue orders, recipients must verbally confirm receipt and understanding. This process ensures accurate conveyance of critical information and proper execution of tasks. Team leaders should verify comprehension before assigning additional responsibilities, maintaining a clear chain of command and minimizing errors. Clear messages. Clear, concise communication is essential in high-stress environments. Team members should use unambiguous language to prevent misunderstandings. A calm, confident tone of voice sufficiently loud to be heard, helps maintain focus and reduces anxiety. This approach facilitates efficient information exchange and decision-making during time-sensitive situations. Clear Roles and Responsibilities Clearly defined roles and responsibilities significantly enhance team efficiency. When each member understands their specific tasks and areas of responsibility, the team functions more smoothly. Team leaders should delegate tasks based on individual competencies, ensuring that each member operates within their scope of practice and expertise. Know your limitations. Awareness of personal limitations is crucial for patient safety and team effectiveness. Each team member should recognize their own capabilities and limitations. It is imperative to request assistance or advice early, rather than waiting until a situation deteriorates. This practice promotes a culture of safety and continuous improvement within the team. Knowledge sharing. Knowledge sharing is a critical component of effective team performance. Team leaders should encourage input from all members, soliciting ideas for differential diagnoses and potential oversights. This collaborative approach leverages the collective expertise of the team and may lead to more comprehensive patient care. Constructive intervention. Constructive intervention is necessary when a team member observes an error or inappropriate action. It is important to address such situations tactfully, especially when correcting a colleague. Whether the issue involves medication dosing, procedural technique, or clinical decision-making, timely and respectful intervention can prevent adverse outcomes. Summarizing and reevaluation. Regular summarization and reevaluation of the patient status, interventions performed, and the team's position within the care algorithm are essential. This practice maintains an ongoing record of treatment, facilitates re-evaluation of the patient's condition, and helps team members respond appropriately to changes in clinical status. Mutual respect. Mutual respect and professionalism should be maintained among all team members, regardless of individual expertise or training. Team leaders should communicate in a controlled, friendly manner avoiding unnecessary aggression or shouting. This approach fosters a positive team environment and promotes effective collaboration, ultimately enhancing team performance and potentially improving patient outcomes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.